there, everyone. Um, yeah, just little old me again. And testing out my new equipment, my new computer, my new everything with, uh, yeah, Saban's VR Troopers. Uh, we don't need to know the story on this. Also, I'm going to be doing something that I don't normally do. I'm going to be playing on easy. Because, uh, this game needs it. You'll see. But anyway, it's not just that I'm bad at the game, it's because the game actually needs it. I'll get a story mode to, uh, to prove it. Yep. Yep. Okay. I have three special moves, as you can see. And each character has three special moves. There's only three of them, so... We'll go ahead and look at all of them. I'll go ahead and, uh... I'll choose Ryan Steel for this. And trust me, you're gonna need the, uh... The extra buttons... ...to do special moves, because otherwise... This guy is gonna wreck your face. Because if you... If you get knocked down once, it's game over for you. Literally. If you get knocked down just once, it's game over. Uh oh. Because they stun they keep you in a uh, they keep you in a temporal loop. He would actually have kept sweeping me until I died. I'll see if I can show that off next time or next round. But I'll go as far as I can in this. Yeah. This is where I've devised the devilish scheme of... Punching. Crouch punching. Now, I've got to get away. If I can get away... Yep, there it is. Yep. And it's infinite. They could literally keep chirping me the entire time, no matter what. I would just lose. Lucky for me, I know that uh, that move uh, always gives a hard knockdown. And unluckily for me, I'm in a corner. But luckily, whenever you're in a corner, you just do this, and the entire game is pretty much one for you because they'll keep do uh, trying for the trip loop and it'll just be done so there you go saved you a little bit of time I don't understand why dog it's been so long since I've even seen this show so Oh, and, uh, this, just as hard. Only no, uh, punch loop to keep it, uh, set. Yeah. That's something that happens. Okay, so Decimator will apparently stomp me into bits. Let's go with, uh, Caitlyn.
And she's got a gun. She's also got the best get off of me move, even though it doesn't actually knock him down. As long as I can keep a little bit of distance between us, it'll all be good. But once he gets within trip range, I'm done. I am dead. And there's nothing I can do about that. Yep. And there's next to no block in this game. I'm gonna go until I end up with a, uh, with a game over, so, or not game over, but until I find myself on the continue screen. which will be actually sooner than you think. the way that works. Back into a corner. And, uh... Yeah. Sorry about the dogs. Now I've just got to survive this. That's literally it. I've just got to survive. This game isn't impossible, but if you can do it, you are a better man than I. Okay, I'll use JB for this one. JB, the unofficial leader of the group, if I remember right. Or official leader. I don't really remember this game or show too much. Honestly. But yeah. Stay away from this game if at all possible. It is just bad. It is bad. Oh, and that means that I get to use... Oh. 
Yeah, his third special move is actually up down kick. Drill kick. Wonder if it's chargeable. Nope. The entire game is just run away and spam special moves. Then uh, this comes in and the game becomes run away. Once again, sorry for the dogs. I can just get rid of these things by making them hit each other. I doubt that, but apparently. Kongbot. Oh god, this is where my test went horribly, horribly wrong. So I'll use Ryan. He's obviously a palette swap of Reese, but that's fine. Down, down. I don't know why they're going nuts. I don't know at all. They just seem to be going nuts. To excuse me a moment in a bit. Never mind then. That dog just asked for pizza. Yeah, I just gotta knock them into each other. Okay then. Dominant strategy means the jump kick is how you beat these guys. <sighs> Back yourself into a corner and jump kick. Got it. I actually made it past that. Hooray. Okay, uh, which trooper? I think she's been under uh, underrepresented this game, uh, this time, so.
I will mash kick. Wow. That uh, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. difference between those two. I think that the, the gun does more damage. Hi, perfect. Can't be sure, though. Did that dog just call me dude? Now that I know how to do this, it's uh, ridiculously easy. Skugs gave me more points. And you can fail that. It'll just send you to the next, uh... Oh, great. I get to find a uh, fight myself. Okay. Well then, since it is JB, I guess I'll fight as JB. It'll be that way. Why not? Let's see if this will work. Kind of shows exactly uh, exactly how bad this this thing actually is. Some people may argue that pulling off the special moves is half the challenge, but honestly. Special moves aren't actually a challenge to do, except for the one. The overload, or, uh... No, not even the gun. I'm used to Street Fighter inputs, sure, but none of these special moves are really hard to do. If the opponents didn't just fucking ground and pound you and not automatically sweep you, where you couldn't put up a fight, and this game actually might have been good. But, uh... But yeah, that, that's never gonna happen. Alright. Oh no, one got behind me. There we go. Bam. I just keep getting better each freaking time. 
Let me guess, the next one's gonna be Caitlyn. So I've gotta fight it using her. Oh no, I had to move forward. Oh yeah, and uh, the A button's supposed to be throw, as you kind of saw early, early on. Yeah, about that. That doesn't work. They say it does, it does not. Yep, and then I've got to defeat the other clone. I'll show off all the two player colors, I guess. Why not, right? Yeah, that seems to only happen with Caitlyn as well. The, uh, the projectile just going directly through someone. Alright, let's check to see if that gun does more damage. Kinda, yeah. There we go, yay, I won. If you guys know the actual, like, moves and attacks to the game, go ahead and tell me in the comments. That'll be fine, that's it's kind of cool. I like to know that. But, um... Yes, because you're a dog. Okay, now, the rest of this will be rather simple, I suppose. How to successfully fail at VR Troopers. If only I were over the gun. OTG is an awesome LP -er, by the way. Do enjoy his how to successfully fail videos. And this has been going on for a lot longer than I expected. Because I never actually expected to figure this out. <laughs> or that the AI would actually turn out to be, you know, on the difficulty I set it to. Wow, that was dumb.
Well, if you say so. Cannot hope to defeat this version of me. Fireball. Fireball. Oh no, the terror. I know, on hard it's probably really fucking hard. I'm not gonna even try and lie on that. But I'm not doing that. I'm not that much of a masochist because you can't even try to to hook up the X, Y, and Z buttons on, uh, on hard, or medium for that matter. The only reason that I even did easy is because you get the, uh, easy inputs. No, for that, uh, that punch kick move, or for that punch move that I was doing, you gotta actually hold back for two seconds, and then hit both, the, uh, both attack buttons, and no, that's, that's a no. Come on, jump over, there we go. Now, back to the grind. I'll cut this one out. Or speed it up. Speed up sounds better. Alright, now Chameleon. Yay. Alright, since I've been uh, going in a sequence, I guess. I'll go ahead and go with Ryan. That actually hit me in mid-attack. Okay. Not that I expected my special moves to actually have invincibility frames, just that didn't expect it to really do that. Uh, I was trying to, but no. If he can, or if he spams that uh, that move, My spacing was off. Hi, Kongbot.
Okay. Chameleon down. And that's it. Okay, well, um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bingo.